hi in this video we will see how to create a master details form or a master details screen say i have a table called as department which has got department id department name and hod and i want to perform all the operations on this table you can say crude operations i want to list all the records i want to create a new record i want to edit an existing record and i want to delete a record how do I perform all these operations? And these are the basic operations that you require in each and every project. So I have already created a form. So I have listed all the departments here. I can look into the details of a particular department by clicking details link. I get marketing department and HOD is as Arshad. I'll go back to the list. I can edit an existing department. I'll go for R&D department and change HOD from Bob to Bobby and I'll say save. A department got updated. In the same way, I can delete a department. It is asking a confirmation. I'll say delete. And I can go and create a new department. As department ID is auto generated, we need not to display department ID. Department name I'll pass as training and HOD as Manzur the trainer. And I'll say create department. So you can see that department got created. And if I look into the database, I have the record inserted in the database too. Now, what do you think? How many actions do we need to create to perform all these operations? And we are sure that we are going to create only a single controller. And in a controller, how many actions do we require? So here I have listed the actions. For department controller, we need to create eight actions. The first action is index. This is what generated by index action and the second is details whenever i click on the detail it is passing an id and it is displaying the record of that particular id clicking on department id will take us to the details and display the selected record so it is displaying that particular record i'll go back to the list that is same index i can go for create new so this is the form that i get because of this action create and whenever i pass some parameters and say create so here i am going to perform an insert operation by passing department object so that can be handled by the action create with parameters and usually this will be of type post so i can say create so i get that record now for update whenever i click edit it is going to display that record and this operation is performed with the help of update action with parameters as int id it is taking the parameter as id and i am performing an update or you can say edit operation now whenever i change the values and say save whenever i say save this is handled by an action that is update which takes the parameter as the object of TBL department. I'll say save. I'm back on the index. For delete, whenever I say delete, it displays a message with that particular record. So this is performed with the help of action delete with input parameter as ID. And whenever I say delete, here it is going to perform a delete operation on the database. So this is taken care by your delete with parameter as TBL department object. So I'll say delete. So hope you might have understood to perform or to create a master details screen for any table. Basically, we need to have eight actions. Index which displays all the records. Details which displays a particular record. Create which displays a form 
and create with object as parameter which performs insert operation and it is not going to display any form it will take me back to the index in the same way update is nothing but edit displays the form and whenever I say save it will take me back to the list so save is handled by update with department object as parameter and whenever I say delete I get this form with the help of action delete with input parameter as ID and whenever I say delete it will delete the record and take me back to the index page and this is handled by delete with object as parameter so we are going to have all these eight actions and we are going to implement them in our next video